Good day po sa ating lahat and welcome back to my channel and this is me Teacher Koy of Isip Math Tutorial and for today's video pag-usapan po natin yung module 7 ng ating grade 8 mathematics quarter 3 okay so malapit na po tayo matapos sa quarter 3 pero bago pong lahat if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you'll be updated on my videos okay so yung topic po natin ngayon ay napakagandang topic po congruence of right triangles okay so once again this is for grade 8 mathematics quarter 3 module 7 at ito po yung itsura ng ating module na ginamit okay so module 7 na po tayo okay so for our learning competency we have approved statements on triangles that are congruent and then for our objectives we have at the end of the lesson you are expected to state LL, LA, HYA, and HYL congruence theorem. Then apply the congruence of right triangle and prove statements on triangles that are congruent. Okay, so let's start with our lesson number one. We have here leg, leg, and leg angle congruence theorem. So a triangle with a right angle is called right triangle. So kung mayro pong triangle na may right angle, so tawag po natin yan ay right triangle. In any right triangle, the side opposite to the side to, to, to the right angle is called hypotenuse. So, yung opposite ng right angle ay yung hypotenuse. Yan po yung pinakahabang side ng isang right triangle. The two other sides that intersect at the vertex of the right angle are called legs. Yung dalawang side na doon uh, dumaan sa vertex natin sa yung right angle sila po yung tinatawag natin na legs now what is ll so ll is leg leg congruence theorem so if the legs of one right triangle are congruent to the legs of other right triangle then the triangles are congruent ibig sabihin nito kung merong yung isang right triangle yung dalawang leg niya ay congruent sa dalawang leg din sa kabilang right triangle therefore we can say that these two triangles are congruent Okay, so we have here this illustration. Consider right triangles A, B, C and triangle X, Y, Z. So ito po sa A, B, C at, at saka si triangle X, Y, Z with right angles at B and Y respectively. So yung kay A, B, C, ang kanyang right angle ay si angle B. At saka si X, Y, Z, ang kanyang right angle ay si angle Y. Then A, B, A, B is congruent to X, Y. This one, meron po tayong markings, di ba? And BC, si so BC dito, is congruent to YZ. May markings din po tayo. So, si AB at saka si BC ay legs ni triangle ABC. At saka si XY naman at saka si YZ ay legs doon kay triangle XYZ. So, so, kung nakikita natin dito, yung dalawang legs, di ba, ay congruent. So, therefore, we can say that these two triangles are congruent. Congruence. So, yan, ganyan lang po ka-easy. Di ba? Leg, leg. Congruence postulate. Now, let's go to leg angle congruence postulate. So, leg angle congruence postulate. So, LA. So, leg angle. So, ibig sabihin nito, angle, yung acute angle po niya. Okay? Congruence postulate. Kasi, if we have right triangle, yung isa is right triangle, di ba? Uh, right angle. Di ba? Tapos, yung dalawang angles ay mga acute angles po sila. So, if a leg and an acute angle of one right triangle are congruent to a leg and acute angle of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Ibig sabihin nito na yung leg, isang leg ng triangle na to, at saka isang acute angle ay congruent sa isang leg din at saka isang acute angle dun sa kabilang right triangle. Therefore, we can say that these two right triangles are congruent. So, we have here the illustration. Consider right triangles A, B, C, and D, E, F. Dito sa A, B, C to so, D, E, F, okay? Then, with right angles at B, ito, and E, okay? Then, side B, C, side B, C, this one, side B, C, is congruent to side E, F, this one, E, F. 
and angle C, yung acute angle ng kabilang triangle, ay congruent naman sa acute angle dun sa kabilang triangle, which is angle F. This one. So, therefore, leg angle, diba? leg angle, sa kabila po, leg angle, diba? congruent po sila. So, therefore, we can say that these two right triangles are congruent. Okay? Given lang yung leg at saka acute angle, malalaman na po natin na yung dalawang right triangles are congruent. Gruent. Okay, so I hope nag-gitso po yung ibig natin sabihin. Mayroon po tayo illustration dito. Okay, so next, for our lesson number two, we have a hypotenuse angle congruence postulate. So, HYA, hypotenuse, siya po yung pinakalongest side ng isang right triangle, di ba? So, hypotenuse and acute angle congruence theorem. So, if an acute angle and the hypotenuse of one right triangle are congruent to an acute angle, and the hypotenuse of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Ibig sabihin nito, kung merong hypotenuse, ay yung hypotenuse ng isang triangle at saka isang acute angle nito, triangle na to, ay congruent sa hypotenuse at saka isang acute angle ng kabilang right triangle, then we can now say that these two right triangles are congruent. Okay, so para mas maintindihan pa natin, we have here the illustration. Let us now consider right triangles A, Ano, D, E, S, yeah, D, E, S, at saka T, I, H, with right angles at E, this one, and right angles and at I also, this one. Then, such angle D, such angle D, dito, acute angle, at saka si angle T are congruent, and D, S, D, S is our hypotenuse for this triangle, and T, H is the hypotenuse of this triangle, they are congruent. Okay, isang acute angle, at saka yung hypotenuse nila ay congruent, then, we can now say that these two right triangles are also congruent. Okay, since all right angles are congruent, then angle D and angle T are congruent, and side DS and side TH are also congruent. Thus, the HYA or the hypotenuse acute angle congruence theorem, we have triangle D, ES, and triangle T, IH are congruent. Okay, so by hypotenuse angle congruence theorem, we can say that triangle D, E, S, and triangle T, I, H are congruent. Okay, so let's go to our lesson number three. Lesson number three is hypotenuse leg congruence theorem. Kanina, hypotenuse acute angle po siya. But this time, hypotenuse leg congruence theorem. So if a leg and a hypotenuse of one right triangle are congruent to the corresponding leg and hypotenuse of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So, kung meron pong isang leg at saka hypotenuse sa right triangle na to, ay congruent dun sa kabilang leg at saka hypotenuse sa isang right triangle, then we can say that these two right triangles are congruent. So, para mas maintindihan po natin, we have here the illustration. Okay, so consider, we have here, the side OT, side OT dito, side OT, this is the leg diba, of this triangle, is congruent to side AY, leg also for this right triangle. And then, the hypotenuse, this one, HT, the hypotenuse of this triangle is congruent to the hypotenuse DY of this triangle, are congruent. So therefore, we can say now that these two triangles are congruent. Diba? Kung, na, kung napansin nyo, diba? Ano po siya? Side, side, at saka angle. Diba? Right angle. Okay. So, ganyan lang po kaisi yung ating tinatawag na congruence of right triangles. And once again, this is me, Teacher Koy of Easy Tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.